Hey guys, so today we're talking about another end-to-end -end encrypted messenger. To bring up the topic one more time, the difference between an end-to-end -end encrypted messenger and, say, for existence, a Facebook or another social media messenger is if it's not end-to-end -end encrypted, someone in the middle is handling and can manipulate those messages. They can also manipulate the keys that are exchanged and thus manipulate the messages from there. This is a big issue and today I'm introducing Session which is actually an onion routed encrypted messenger that uses end-to-end -end encryption based off of the signal protocol and the signal system. This is unlike just a simple privacy messenger this is meant to be an anonymous messenger. First off this is the LokiNet service node network. It's an example of how Alice may be contacting Bob by going through a, san a series of randomized relays, which are truly randomized in a more of a fashion than possibly the Tor network may be because of Tor's um, affinity for faster connections. But in fact, it turns out with the incentivization has created a bit of a faster network. It's also a much smaller network, so keep that in mind. So to download Session, we're going to open it up. You would go to the download page, then you'll just pick your operating system. We're going to show it, and we're going to open it on my Linux Cubes desktop and take a look at it in the Debian virtual machine. So it's already an app image if you're running Linux, and if you're not running Linux, you can download the Android or for the iPhone or for Mac or Windows. So there's something for everyone here. Let's go ahead. I downloaded it just a bit ago, and make sure to verify the signatures and the integrity of the file itself. That's something I'm going to go over in a future video because I think it's super important to verify the integrity of everything that you download, especially operating systems or encrypted messengers. Anything you have to trust, you really should make sure to verify the file integrity. Because, for example, if there was a man in the middle attack, a, an attacker, an adversary with a high level of access, they could possibly do a man in the middle attack. If they had, you know, operational control of, say, your ISP, they could possibly even trick you into downloading the wrong copy by showing a website that looks identical but in a man in the middle attack if you have a certificate that matches which some computers such as the Superfish bug where Lenovo laptops came with actual certificates root certificates that would allow them to manipulate your traffic and make it look like you're on a secure website let's go ahead and open it up I already downloaded it if you download the Linux one, you're going to have an app image, and here's what we're going to do with that. See, right here it says Session Desktop App Image. So what you need to do is you need to make it executable, so chmod plus x, and then Session. Okay, and at that point all we have to do is dot slash Session, and it'll open up for us. Because this is the first time opening it, I'm going to be creating an account. And let's go ahead and see what the process is like. And it has my new session ID right here. As mentioned, it doesn't use phone numbers. Put RTP as my display name. At that point, we can go through our contacts. We can go to our settings and take a look at the options here. We've got the microphone camera gonna deny access there so that's the basis of the session messenger the layout for the desktop as you can see the picture on the phone and at this point we can simply enter the name of our recipient either their ONS name or we can enter the long number which makes up the session ID this is the standard end-to-end -end encryption which is pretty standard now with anyone who cares about privacy anyone who's providing a messenger service that doesn't have end-to-end -end encryption you can count on your messages likely being scanned or read and that's something we of course want to avoid 
these kinds of things are sold all the time. ISPs are allowed to sell customer data in the United States without explicit consent of that customer. So you never know if your text messages are for sale and quite possibly are with certain, uh, certain ISPs. In a standard end-to-end -end encryption uh, issue, you would have the adversary would end up seeing a bunch of garbled mess of encrypted data. That's exactly what you want. So because the end-to-end -end encryption is only between Alice here and Bob there, anyone in between that, say, runs the lines in between somewhere on the pathway or at least is connected to a network or has a node on one of the networks in between is able to then do you know send a various types of man in the middle attacks whereas the message that is intended for Bob would make it to the attacker and at that point they would see the encrypted message being completely unreadable so that is why end-to-end -end encryption is so important if you're not using end-to-end -end encryption that message could be read by the server of say Facebook or Twitter or any other you know supplier of these messaging systems so if you wonder why your direct messages aren't encrypted there's probably a good reason for that hint hint here we can see Alice connecting to the edge node which would be the entry node on the Tor network then we have the transit nodes there's two of those, then you have the pivot node and the exit node, and finally makes its way to the internet. And the incentivization used by LokiNet can help it thwart certain kinds of attacks such as the Sybil attack. Exit nodes have to decrypt the traffic, so that doesn't matter if you're on Tor or LokiNet or a VPN. They all have to decrypt the traffic on the way to that destination page. And a lot of people have a misconception that this means that they can read all your data. Well, most of the internet websites are actually HTTPS. So because of the HTTPS, your browser encryption uses that HTTPS with the certificates in order to make and ensure that HTTPS encryption is used the whole way through. So even so, it's still encrypted before it gets to any of these nodes so that HTTPS continues to protect it from that exit node to the internet. And here we're looking at my profile. You can see my nickname. You can see here is my session ID. I can copy this and then I can save that and send that to a friend who I want to talk to. So go ahead and as it says, go ahead and get session. That's what I have today, guys. Make sure to share, like, and subscribe, and I'll be back later with more on protecting your privacy.